Welcome insiders to Inside News, I'm your host Eric, and today is March 17th, 2014, so let's get started. So first off in Inside News, I have messy hair, ignore that, but besides that, Razer actually came out with two new computers, the new Razer Blade and the new Razer Blade Pro. Taking a look at the new Razer Blade Pro, it's basically the same from its predecessor. It has the same design, same screen, same screen resolution, has even basically the same CPU, but what's different is the GPU. It has a new NVIDIA 860 and seventh predecessor, which had only a 765M. Also, the new Razer Blade Pro comes with more RAM, 16 gigabytes instead of 8 gigabytes. So overall, the new Razer Blade Pro, not too fancy, but let's take a look at the new Razer Blade. Take a look, the new Razer Blade looks pretty much the same, but it's not. It might have the same design, the same CPU, and even the same kind of RAM, which is 8 gigabytes, but take a look at the graphic card and the screen. The screen is still 14 inches, but it has an amazing resolution of 1300 by 1800. The screen has 262 pixels per inch, which is even higher than Apple's Retina display computers. I also have to mention that this screen is touchscreen. You might not care, but personally, I think it's a nice feature. And to power this high resolution screen, you're gonna need a decent graphic card. So Razer put in a 870M. Anyway though, if you wanna take a look at the new Razer Blade computers, go check out their site, I'll have a link down below. They still do offer information about their last generation computers, but they don't actually have a buy link on their site anymore. Moving on, kinda of going along with Razer's new computer releases, they have the 800 series of NVIDIA GPUs, and that's actually what NVIDIA announced the same day, their 800 mobile series. They released the 850M, the 860M, the 870M, and the 880M. The new graphic cards are supposed to give out around 30 to 60% more performance, and also better battery life. Now those cards were really supposed to be in higher end laptops, but looking at lower end laptops, the video also announced the 840 and 830M. And for any desktop user that kind of feels left out right now, the video also announced the new Titan Black. And really to sum up the Titan Black, basically it's the original Titan with the NVIDIA 780 combined together. So really it's a Titan graphic card made for gaming, because the original Titan wasn't exactly made for gaming, but the 780 is. Anyway though guys, that's inside news for today, please leave all your comments down below, like this video, subscribe, and share with your friends, help the channel in any way you can. And other guys, my name's Eric, this is Inside News, and I'm signing out.